Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is swallowed or inhaled foreign body or foreign object, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com, you know. Now I come to a topic. Uh, what happens when you swallow? Uh, a foreign body or a foreign object, you know. You know, anyone can swallow a foreign object, uh, but uh, the infants and the toddlers, they are more likely and they have the natural curiosity and tendency to put the things in their mouths, you know, and they, which push them at a higher risk uh, if compared to the adults, you know. And in many cases, uh, the digestive tract will process the swallowed object and uh, uh, the object will exit uh, the body naturally you know and uh, in other cases the object may get stuck or can cause the injuries on its way through the intestinal tract you know and if this happens you will need to see your doctor for the treatment and surgery may be sometimes necessary depending on the circumstances you know now thank next question is who who is at the risk of swallowing the body objects? Well, the toddlers and the infants often explore and learn about items by putting them in their mouths, you know. And the most people who swallow a foreign object uh, are under the age of three years. And uh, a child's risk of swallowing something potentially dangerous increases when they are left uh, with the little or uh, no supervene at all, you know. And the risk also increases when the, uh, like, uh, items like coins or maybe the small batteries you know and the uh, buttons or maybe the marbles or the rocks or the nails and the screws you know and the pins and the small magnets you know when the children when the toddlers they, they swallow these kind of stuff you know and specifically the batteries you know um, they are very dangerous you know they could be very dangerous they will be life threatening you know and anything that can uh, fit inside the toddler's mouth may eventually end up uh, there if no one is watching the child you know and always the child uh, child proof a like a child's play area by keeping these items out of reach you know and uh, the next thing is how do someone knows if the foreign object has been swallowed you know well the symptoms of the swallowed foreign object are usually hard to miss and you will notice the symptoms immediately if the object uh, blocks the airways you know and the most common symptoms are like choking or difficulty in breathing and coughing or wheezing you know and if a child swallowed an object uh, easily and it didn't get caught in their throat you know uh, there may not be any immediate symptoms you know and the object is already in the digestive tract so it will pass naturally and the symptoms uh, will show up later maybe if the body has uh, trouble passing the item you know and the possible symptoms that can occur when the item is stuck somewhere in the digestive tract may include like uh, uh, vomiting or maybe drooling or maybe gagging or uh, refusal to eat you know or fever or abdominal pain or maybe chest or throat pain you know and uh, an item stuck for a long time in the body with no treatment can cause infection such as recurrent aspiration and pneumonia you know or maybe this may result in the chest pain, may be the phlegm producing cough and maybe wheezing and sometimes the fever uh, may be a symptom, you know. And it's important to consult your doctor if uh, you or your child swallowed a foreign object, you know, even if you don't have any problem, you know. And uh, if you believe that it can pass naturally, even then you should see your doctor. So swallowing a like a magnet, uh, is a medical emergency and you should seek the medical uh, attention straight away no waste of time and uh, well how do the doctor will examine that you have uh, swallowed or you should have swallowed something and it's still in the digestive tract you know well first your doctor will ask you about uh, your findings you know and then he will perform the physical examination and uh, then the imaging tests are very important like x-rays uh, to see 
uh, if there is any item you know uh, in the digestive tract you know and uh, bronchoscopy to take a closer look uh, at the airways if the person cannot breathe easily you know and a bronchoscopy is a procedure where the doctor uses a thin tube with a camera which is called bronchoscope to look inside the airways you know and the doctors uh, also uh, take other sim uh, symptoms into account like uh, uh, any coughing or any sneezing or uh, difficulty in breathing etc you know and uh, well if the doctor finds something has stuck in the mouth or in the airways or in the digestive tract you know then what are the treatment options well if a person can barely breathe due to the like block, blocked airways you know the emergency treatment is usually very important and the foreign object uh, might be removed from the airway using the like uh, uh, back blows you know like uh, uh, hemorrhage maneuvers or maybe CPR you know and uh, the pointed objects uh, could puncture the esophagus or maybe the balls you know like small batteries such as uh, like watch batteries or twice batteries you know small ones you know, uh, can cause the tissue damage and these items should be removed immediately and you should seek the medical uh, attention for this condition you know and uh, if the person is not shocking on the uh, if the foreign object has been swallowed and uh, seems to have swallowed it completely you know a doctor may decide to wait and uh, see if the body that uh, object passes through the digestive tract and is expelled you know and you may need to watch for symptoms such as vomiting or maybe fever or signs of pain you know and the doctor might ask you to check the stool to make sure that object left the body you know and uh, uh, if uh, doctor find that something in the digestive tract and he wants to watch that its movement you know so then he may advise to uh, 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 take another x-ray image you know after the few days just to see the movement you know if it's moving or it's stuck you know and the doctor will likely treat the issue right way if the foreign object is causing pain or uh, damage to the balls or the esophagus you know and this may uh, call for the surgery or maybe endoscopy to remove the object without uh, puncturing the balls or the esophagus you know and the endoscopy uh, use a small tube with the camera and the tiny surgical instruments you know and the doctor will insert it into the mouth and down the esophagus to remove the foreign object you know and uh, you can prevent this issue by keeping uh, the small items out of reach of the children you know when uh, you are away you know and avoid putting small foreign objects in your mouth even it's advice for the adults you know thank you very much for watching this video and the next thing is about the outlook you know well the infants toddlers and adults can swallow the objects you know and uh, in most cases the digestive system will process the item naturally and uh, the body will pass the item within seven days without causing any damage you know but a foreign object left in the body could cause the infection or maybe the damage to the internal organs you know so it's very important that you got the medical advice you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day thank you and goodbye